Enraged, Kamada sends his minions to fight, but Mary doesn't panic at all. With Tony's help, she instantly gained the upper hand. With just a few moves, she beat the crap out of the little kid and became a hero of the anti-Japanese. It was a great feeling. After that, the two traveled back again, this time finally returning to the Ming Dynasty. Even more coincidentally, the landing place is actually the Wolf Family Village. With Mary's arrival, the whole village was bustling with activity. Everyone had nothing to do but drink and dance. It was a very happy feeling, but I didn't expect that this carefree life would become the final feast. The wind and the water are turning. I'll be the emperor. John is so arrogant. With a musket in his hand, he colluded with Eunuch Lee and the brats. What's even more inhuman is that he sent the kids to Lang's village to kill them. Just then, Bob suddenly came back. When he saw Tony, he was about to fight. Just when I thought they were going to fight, Bob suddenly hugged Tony. It turned out that Bob drowned in Hong Kong, so his memory was erased when he crossed over. In order to massacre Wolf's village successfully, John flew a pigeon to invite Tony to his old man's house for dinner. 